It is the start of the new year and optimism is in the air. Now is the time when so many professionals make a list of new year resolutions, such as getting a job promotion or learning a new skill. Unfortunately, 80% of new year's resolutions fail. What if I told you that there was a super simple way to structure your goals and achieve them on time? Welcome back to Atypical Adult. My name is Osa and I'm an IT professional with a background in IT support and cybersecurity. This channel is all about growing and advancing professionally. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you can be the first one notified when a new video is posted. I know that I am not alone when I say that there were a few things that I wanted to accomplish last year that I didn't quite finish such as learning certain software languages and IT certifications. So this year, I'm going to be more purposeful and more structured concerning accomplishing my goals. And I'm going to do that by implementing the SMART method. The S in SMART stands for specific. It is not enough to say, I want to get promoted. What position do you want to be promoted to? Once you have visualized and identified a target, then you can figure out where you're starting from and what steps you need to take to accomplish your goal. The M in the SMART method stands for measurable. Your goal must be measurable and must be quantifiable. <laughs> this is necessary in order to ensure that you're on the right path towards success. For example, if you're studying for an IT certification, it is not enough to say, I am going to study for a CompTIA or AWS or a cloud certification and I will sit for the exam in three months. It is more structured to say, these are the objectives that are covered in the exam and I will review and study certain objectives every single week until the three month period is over. That way you can measure your progress by confirming whether or not you have achieved your daily, weekly, and monthly goals. So by the time the three months is over, you know that you have covered all the necessary material and that you are well on your way to becoming certified. The A stands for attainable. When considering goals for this new year, please ensure that those goals are attainable for you. For instance, if you desire to become promoted this year into a management role, but if all the management roles in your current company are occupied, then that may not be an attainable goal for you this year for that particular company. You may want to apply for senior positions in other companies. The majority of professional certifications are attainable by the general public. So if you're seeking to acquire a professional certification in this year of 2021 and beyond, awesome. Good luck to you. Your goal must also be realistic. Last year of 2020, I desired to become AWS Solutions Architect Associates Certified. I set a goal that I would study for the exam for two to three months and then sit for the exam. Little did I know that it was actually going to take me twice as long to study for the exam. I did not completely take into consideration my lack of experience with cloud network management so after studying for roughly three months and now feeling confident in my ability to pass the Solutions Architect Associate exam, I decided to create a midpoint goal and sit for the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam, which is a bit lower than the AWS Solutions Architect Associate exam. But it gave me a great confidence boost that aided me in pushing towards my ultimate goal of the Solutions Architect Associate Certification. The T stands for time bound. It is not enough to state that you're going to accomplish a goal sometime in the future. Give yourself a deadline. It encourages you to actively take steps towards accomplishing that goal. 2020 was a year of drastic change and adjustments for so many of us. 
Now is the time to take hold of your opportunities, to acknowledge your potential, and to move forward in life. Until next time, guys, seek knowledge, pursue knowledge, obtain knowledge.